I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Thane Bryling, at your service. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torik. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted, with that terrible voice, like something out of a legend, or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say, for it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow, now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Be well. Pray for solitude. Do you have and business happen. with the court? Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed, if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You'd do well to remember that. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights... I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Feel free...
Return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Wolf Queen, hear our call and awaken. We summon Potema. We, we summon Potema. Long have you slept the dreamless sleep of death, Potema. No longer. Hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you.
Yes! Yes! Return me to this realm! As our voices summon you, the blood of the innocent binds you, Wolf Queen. Summon, summon, summon with words, words bound, bound by blood. blood. What? What are you doing? You fools! You cannot bind me to your wills. Summon, Summon with words, bound by, by blood. You ants don't have the power to bind me. Something is wrong. There is an intruder.
You've returned? Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Potema herself? Please tell me you stopped them. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. She still mourns greatly for her husband, High King Torig. So she leaves many of the courtly details to me. Anyone with a stout heart like yours is welcome here.